Hello, my name is Imanju and this is Game Dev Arts. And today I'm going to show you how to use AdMob. This is a new plugin by Gumeshiel. I hope I am pronouncing it correctly in Godot. So let's see. So right now I am at his GitHub page. So you can either download it from here or directly from Godot. Just search AdMob and install this. I am going to use this one. So download zip and you also need to download Godot AdMob editor. This is the main component which makes our life quite easy. So you got an add-on and let's directly drag and drop. Basically open in file manager and you will get this. Just drag and drop your add-on. I am using I am in Windows platform so this is kind of same for linux as well as mac os so once you get the add on just go to project project setting and plugins you'll get this just click on enable then you will get this thing basically one more tap to edit uh, your add mob settings as per requirement now you also need to install android build template uh, once you download the code or templates then you will be easily able to install this template just click on this i don't have templates so let's go to manage templates right now uh, this is 4.2 rc1 and the templates are missing so you can download the template from code.engine i think i also need to update my godot basically the new 4.2 version is uh, there and you also need to download the template i am going for standard templates so once you install the template now let's click on the install android template again install you can read that i choose not to read that so now you will get this android folder where you can install the android plugin so where from where i can from where you can get the plugin is go to here you don't need to download this instead click on this thing 2.1 and download android template 4.0 once you download the 4.0 then come here all three drag and drop and you are ready to go there are few more settings that you need to do so it's written that or here you need to edit the uh, edit uh, what is that called you need to edit android manifest and you need to add this thing over here under activity and you need to replace this this with your admob id which you can get from your admob page so once you have updated the id then you are good to go and you can read the other things too if you like and you can add according to that so now what you need to do is go to admob if you are using banner then add it according to your choice and once you add unit ids basically add unit in add mob so you can copy paste that id and paste it over here this is different this is add unit id and this is your add mob id so you can search google on how to get add mob id and this is how you get add mob id 
basically once you add your app you will have app id and just copy paste your app id in here so yep interstitial add add unit copy paste that id and click add here reward it same with reward it interstitial download is just for the uh, the updated version of uh, the add mob and you need to click uh, if you're ready to release your game uh, to the public then you need to click debug check release is real true then you will be able to publish your add mob using your real id and it will start working for real and and do not click ads on your own mobile or on your own gmail id which is which is registered to add mob otherwise you can get banned so yeah now how to access the add mob so there's this auto mob there's this auto load add mob ads this thing which is extended using admob singleton this thing this is all the signal that you can use so let me just add note so how you can access the admob you need to add mobile id ads dot show banner and traditional rewarded whatever you like for example rewarded so rewarded will access the plugin plugin is basically the uh, plugin is basically the add mob plugin is using the simulator and it will just access the add mob and show you the reward and how to get your signals mobile ads uh, for example you are going for low, uh, rewarded then you can check for rewarded re rewarded these are all the signal this icon says that it's a signal this icon means that it's a signal and you can check for different signals for example before shooting ad you can check rewarded ad loaded example you can check rewarded and loaded what this is rewarded and loaded is on add more reward and loaded so you can await uploaded but you need to reordered yeah you need to do this mob ads load rewarded then mobile ads show rewarded yep it will load your ad it will wait for this signal once that ad is loaded then it, you can show the rewarded so you also need to wait for mobile ads dot so you also need to wait for the mobile ads dot rewarded at close so once people close your ad then you can continue continue your script basically whatever other function is for example your functions your function says that load 
नेक्स्ट लेवल सो दिस कुड बी अ फंक्शन एंड यू नीड टू वेट फॉर योर सिग्नल अदरवाइज इट विल जस्ट लोड योर नेक्स्ट लेवल एंड द एड विल ऑल्सो कीप प्लेइंग बिकॉज इट्स एन ओवर डे सो या दिस इज ऑल दिस इज ऑल फॉर एडमॉप एंड दिस इज क्वाइट ईजी टू वर्क विथ एंड यू कैन क्विकली सेटअप योर एडमॉप एंड यू डोंट नीड and in my older videos it was quite messy it was a little bit hard to work with admo but this is quite this is easy for you to work with so that's all for this video i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe and i will meet you on the next video so until next time and also and yeah and you can also read all the signal control click read all the signal and check according to your need what you require it's rewarded is simple just type banner you will get all the uh, all the auto completes and you can choose one of them and for this thing you can read his page Uh, yeah use the contents so yeah that's all for today so that's all for this video i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe and wait for my next video bye bye